Hey everyone, my name is Marshall Mind, bringing you a brand new video, and this is gonna be a season run using nothing but striking. I'm not gonna take any fight to the ground, I'm not gonna clinch, I'm not gonna do any grappling, it's gonna be straight up striking. And uh, <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, uh, this was one of the most frustrating season runs I've ever had. Um, it gets really frustrating for me when I'm trying to, uh, you know, beat these guys and they're running, they're backing up, they're being passive, they're blocking, they're sidestepping, they're doing all their crazy things, everything that I complain every single video and I can't take them down and just finish them. And because I was trying to do nothing but, you know, striking in this video, I didn't, I wasn't able to take these guys down, I didn't try and it it got to a point close to the end of the video I I was getting very frustrated I was getting bored of it I was getting tired because everybody was just fighting the same way and everybody was picking all these overpowered fighters um I wouldn't say TJ Dillashaw is overpowered he's not overpowered but compared to the guy that I was playing as right here you know it's not really much of a competition if if a, a good player was using TJ Dillashaw but this fight was uh, was interesting. I'm trying to pressure this guy, trying to you know land combinations specifically to the body. And uh, I've explained this a million times on this channel. The reason why I go to the body, as he drops me right there with a straight right to the body. I've never seen anyone get dropped with a straight right to the body. So that dropped me, and that was a shocker to me. But um. I, like I was saying, I've explained this a million times on this channel, why I like body shots in this game. I consider myself a body snatcher, I've, I've been a body snatcher from... And he dropped me again, he dropped me with a left hand, but like I was saying, I've always been a body snatcher. I was a body snatcher in UFC Undisputed 3, I was a body snatcher in Fight Night Champion, and again in this game, I'm a body snatcher. And if you were to fight me in real life, or if you were to see me you know, fight in real life, I also go to the body a lot. And the main reason why I like body shots is because it's so easy for people to to get away from shots to the head because when they're moving their body, when they're sidestepping, their head is moving, when they're bobbing and weaving, their head is moving, and usually the head is the first thing to move out the way, but your body always stays there. It's, it's, you can't like bob and weave your body. You know? No matter how much you're moving, no matter how much you're bobbing and weaving and sidestepping, your body stays right there and the body is a gigantic, huge target. I mean, compared to, how small the head is I mean when you look at the size of the head I mean when you look at the size of the head and you compare it to the size of the human body this you know the, the size difference is huge so the body is just a huge target it's easier to hit it's more difficult to defend against and uh, a lot of people in, in, in this game they're not used to getting hit in the body they usually face fighters or players who like to go to the head so when they when they're facing a player who likes going to the body they usually don't know how to defend it or how to deal with that. So sometimes in a whole entire fight I just completely focus on the body. I throw jabs to the body, I throw straights to the body, I throw kicks to the body, power hooks, power knees, elbows if that was possible. Sometimes even when I take people to the ground I throw strikes to the body. I just like working the body. Um, I also work the body a lot when I have a fighter that's not highly rated or high rated um, because uh, like I said all these high rated fighters they're very very good at defense and stalling and moving out the way moving their head and trying to hit them in the head sometimes is just a waste of time so as you can see right here TJ Dillashaw's body is getting obliterated he's throwing a lot of combinations and he gets finished right there with a hook to the body first fight done hope you guys enjoyed that one moving on to the next one and as you can see right here I started this fight in round number three and the reason for that is because this Henan Barrow was a fly in every sense of the word he picked Henan Barrow and then the whole entire fight he did nothing but sidestep it was 
it, unbelievable how much this guy was sidestepping. It was almost like he had no intention of winning the fight. I'm like, dude, you've already lost this fight. I've damaged you in round number one, round number two, in round number three, I'm damaging you again. Do something different. You guys gotta learn how to do something different. You can't just keep sidestepping, sidestep, sidestep, sidestep. I'm like, like, what are you doing? And he just keeps going for it over and over and over and over. And as he's sidestepping, I'm trying to time uh, body shots to whatever side that he's sidestepping to, trying to see if I can either get a, a body rock or if I can just straight up damage his body enough to where I can finish him. He's just sidestepping, trying to get me in the clinch, and I'm just sitting there wondering exactly what are you trying to accomplish. He gets me in, in the full Muay Thai plum right there, tries to take me down, I defend it, I get out of the plum. I'm trying to figure out like what is this guy trying to accomplish like is he hoping to sidestep and death rock me like exactly what's the purpose of sidestepping like that and this is one 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 of the things that i don't like about ea sports ufc and i've talked about this also a lot um if, if you played ufc on disputed three when you have low stamina your your movement is extremely slow you can't sidestep left and right like that with low stamina in, in UFC on the Speed 3. I wish EA would bring that back. If you don't have a lot of stamina, you shouldn't be able to sidestep this quickly. I mean, look at his movement. He's moving like he has full stamina. I mean, he's sidestepping, he's backing up, his, 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 his footwork is so quick, his strikes are around the same speed. It's, you can't tell a difference from when a guy has low stamina and when his stamina is completely full. And it's it just it shouldn't be this way. And uh, I don't think EA will be able to you know, patch this. I don't think it's 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 a, it's a change that they can you know do. I don't think they can change this in EA in this first EA Sports UFC game. I think it's just a change that we're gonna have to expect in EA Sports UFC 2, the second one, which by the way they've already started working on. They said that on the forums. So this guy is sidestepping, trying to stall. You know, I can tell he already knows he's lost the fight. He trips me, gets in guard right there, kick him off, get back to my feet. We have what seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and the fight is over. There you go. I won that one. That fight is done. Moving on to the next one. Next fight, it's the Diaz brothers. I am playing as Nate Diaz going up against Nick. Diaz, you know, this would really be an amazing fight, like, if, if the two brothers ever decided to, like, you know what, let's just give the fans a fun fight, yeah, we're brothers, yes, we love each other, yes, we don't really want to do any harm to each other, but let's just get into the octagon, and let's just, you know, give the fans an amazing fight, it would be insane if Nate Diaz and Nick Diaz was to fight, but we know that's probably never gonna happen, and it's okay, so we can, you can, you can watch this fight and get your little fix of, uh, of the Nate Diaz versus Nate Diaz fight. But, um, Nate Diaz is not really watching his stamina very well. He's, he's moving around, I'd say he's moving around well. His movement is not pissing me off yet. But, uh, at this point in the fight, I'm already, as he drops me with a body shot. But, uh, it was kind of a flash flash drop right there with nothing nothing major but at this point of the fight I was already pretty frustrated and getting tired of striking you know, the way that I am in this game I like mixing things up you know, I like you know strike a little bit take the fight to the ground work a little ground and pound put them up against the cage work a little a little cage strikes a little clinch but you know i've just been striking so much that i was just getting sick of it and i'm trying to get this guy out of here i was trying to end every single fight in the first round so i'm really really working his body trying to push him back trying to pressure him get his stamina down and uh if you know the diaz brothers in ea sports ufc the worst thing you want to do when you're facing the Diaz brothers is have low stamina. It's a nightmare facing the Diaz brothers with low stamina. His stamina is really low and he is able to sidestep like that. I just, it's unbelievable to me. Like I'm watching this guy sidestepping and you know, dashing backwards like that. I'm like, are you kidding me? 
you have no stamina and you're able to do that, it's rock him, finish him right there. Fight over, fight over. Nate Diaz defeats Nick Diaz. Moving on to the next fight. Next fight, I am playing as Matt Brown. Matt Brown is very, very good in EA Sports UFC. They did him a lot of justice. He has a lot of power. He's just a brutal, brutal fighter. If you stand right in front of him and if you try to brawl with him, he's just nasty to use. Because I'm pressuring Anthony Pettis right here. He's letting his hands go. He's standing in front of me a little bit, throwing those head kicks. You got to be careful with head kicks from Anthony Pettis. He's trying to parry his body. Some told me this guy has fought me quite a bit. So I was like, you know what? He's trying to parry his body a lot. I'm gonna get sneaky. I'm gonna get sneaky with those headshots. I'm gonna I'm gonna mix in body shots. Head, 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 fight over. <laughs> fight over. Anthony Pettis knocked out clean by Matt Brown. Moving on to the next fight. Let's see, who do we got? We got Junior Segano Dos Santos in the heavyweight division going up against Fabricio Verdum as expected. It's, it's amazing, it's amazing how the heavyweight division has played out. It's like, you would think that, you know, the heavyweight champion of the world, Cain Velasquez will be, you know, the best player in the game pretty much. And even though Cain Velasquez has the best stats, he doesn't, his moveset is just does not, I, I would say his moveset doesn't do him justice at all. So in the heavyweight division, you see a lot of people picking Fabricio Verdun because of his moveset, because of how you know tall he is, how long he is, and because for some reason, he also has a lot of speed, he has really good conditioning, he has really good movement and then then you you added his submissions and he's just a really 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 lethal heavyweight fighter in ea sports ufc so everyone you fight in the heavyweight division wants to pick fabricio Verdun. you know me i like going with my boy junior dos santos i'm either going with dos santos or i'm going with stipe miocic because uh they just i guess i just like the way these guys feel so I'm trying to pressure him with Junior Dos Santos. He goes for a takedown. I defend it. I'm trying to use body shots, you know, back him up, see if I can finish him with a body shot. Because that's the that's the quickest way that I get people out of there. I try to end my fights in the first round. I don't like these fights going past the first round at all. Especially here's the way I think, here's the way I look at it, okay? If I if I feel like I'm better than you in the game, you shouldn't be able to be inside of the cage with me for too long if I feel like I'm better than you I should be able to get you out of there quick enough and I don't like the fact that with the, with the way the game is right now a lot of these players can stall they can just hang around hold block they can you know parry spam they can sidestep all over the place and they tend to to hang around in the octagon with me longer than I feel like they should so I'm very excited about the new patch the new patch is going to fix the parries, it's going to uh, fix the takedowns, it's going to fix the block, I believe so. It's going to do something with the combos where combinations are going to be a lot more fluid and pretty much if you're better than someone on the feet, you will be able to get them out of there very fast. So I'm pressuring Fabricio Verdum, his body is extremely hurt. And look at the way he's moving with no stamina. It's unbelievable. I mean, look at his footwork with no stamina. It just makes no sense. But I finish him with a body shot right there. Fabricio Verdum done. Moving on to the next fight. Next fight, we are going up against John Bones Jones, as usual, and I'm using Chuck Liddell. He's my favorite fighter to use in the light heavyweight division. I just, I love the way his strikes are. I feel like he, you know, he really fits my style. He's, he, he can be, you can use him in a very aggressive way. He's got a lot of power. His conditioning is not bad either, and you know, his footwork is good. But when you're going up against John Jones, he's just, He's extremely, extremely overpowered in this game, man. And it's a nightmare when a good player is using John Jones. Whenever I see someone pick John Jones in the light heavyweight division, I just, 
it just does something to me. I'm just like, I guess I just lose respect for him. The only time that I, have, I feel like anyone should pick John Jones is if they're not good at the game. Pick John Jones if you're not good at the game. If you feel like you suck at the game, pick John Jones all you want. But if you're a good player and you know you're using John Jones, especially if you're using John Jones exclusively, like he's the only guy that you use in eSports UFC, that is, I just, I have no respect for that at all, like zero respect. And when I see some of these, you know, good players with John Jones or Hannon Burrell, I'm just standing there like, are you kidding me? Like, come on, like you're good at this game, okay? You can dominate with, <clears throat> excuse me, you can dominate with a different fighter. You don't have to use John Jones. Like, that's just a fact. You know, just challenge yourself a little bit. But he's using John Jones. He's he's doing the typical John Jones moveset, throwing all these flashy strikes, elbows, using John Jones like John Jones is Mike Tyson. And that is one more problem. EA Sports UFC that I just do not understand. Whoever it is that gave John Jones his movesets. I mean, John Jones does not have that kind of power. In EA Sports UFC, John Jones has brain rattling power. Like, he could hit you with a with a hook to the head and completely knock your head clean off your shoulders, and it makes no sense. I'm not saying John doesn't have power in real life, I and mean, of course John Jones has power. He's a six foot four, you know, mixed martial arts weapon. Of course he has power, but I'm just saying, like, his power in EA Sports UFC is extremely overrated. And that's why you see people trying to use John Jones like like he's Mike Tyson. That's why you see guys like Clay Alley, who's a complete noob to begin with, throwing all these damn hooks. Like hook, hook, hook to the body, hook to the head, over and over again. You pick John Jones over and over again and you're throwing all these hooks. Makes no sense. And one other problem with John Jones is he's so tall. He's like so freaking tall. Like when I play against John Jones, that's when I really understand what some fighters that he, you know, faces, you know, what they go through. That guy is huge. He's a tall guy. You know, reaching his head is very difficult. Um, so sometimes in eSports UFC, when I play the game, I just go for body shots because his body is right there body is right there why would I waste my time trying to hit him in the head when he can just move his head while he can just sidestep and move his head out the way like that so round number one is over round number two let's see if we can get John Jones out of there because at this point I'm just I'm getting sick he's trying to touch gloves I'm like get out of here I ain't touching your gloves I ain't touching your gloves I'm trying to get you out of there quickly I don't have time to touch your gloves He's throwing power shots, he's sidestepping over and over again, he's backing up, he's trying to use elbows, you know, he's going for body shots, and I'm just pressuring, standing right in front of him, just trying to get him out of there, and uh, it's going to get to a point in the game where I just, I was like, fuck it, that's it, just knock me out, finish me, I don't care what you do, I just started banging, just going for hooks to the body after hook to the body after hook to the body i guess you could say i started spamming hooks to the body but when i'm going up against john jones when i'm going up against hen and i really do not care like i really do not care i'm trying to get you out of there and i was trying to end this fight in round number two i do not like going to round three with these guys i just i don't if they survive against me i see it as a as a victory for them in a sense because I don't feel, I feel like they shouldn't be able to last in there with me I'm better than these guys that's the way that I look at it and if I'm better than you I should be able to get you out of there very very quickly so his body is red I'm pressuring him using hooks to the body jabs hook to the body hook to the body jab hook hook to the body hook to the body I mean look at that his stamina is low and look at look at that he's sidestepping absolutely no stamina how is he able to do that like he shouldn't be able to do this with low stamina that's that, that's what i'm saying reminds me of ufc undisputed 3 go back and play the game if you have low stamina like that you're done you're screwed you're not gonna be able to move out the way like that you know before EA Sports ufc came out they were trying to emphasize how important stamina was. Oh, you gotta make sure you don't have low stamina ever. But I mean, in the game right now, you can have low stamina and just sidestep your way out of every single damage. And it just, it makes no sense. So I'm trying to 
catch John Jones. I notice that he's parrying his body a lot, so boom! I rock him, rock him in the head, get on top, mount, trying to pound him out. Is John Jones gonna survive? Is John Jones gonna survive? Nope! John Jones is knocked out clean in mount, and fight is over. Let's move on to the next one. I think the next one is a fight versus Henan Baral. I'm not sure. Let's see. What do we got? Yup, Henan Baral. It's a fight versus Henan Baral. I am Connor McGregor. And I'm trying to see who the heck it is that's picking Henan Baral. It's, you know, I understand people when they say that they're getting sick of the game because of, of the fighters that people like to pick. It's, it's really, Disappointed it really is because every single fight you go into if it's in the featherweight division There's about an there's about 95% chance that you're gonna face Hannah Burrell every single time Occasionally you see TJ Dillashaw occasionally you see Dominic Cruz, but most of the time it's Hannah Burrell if you go to the light heavyweight division There's a massive chance. It's gonna be John Jones occasionally you will see Gustafson or Anderson Silva, but most of the time it's John Bones Jones in the heavyweight division. Oh, it's always Fabricio Verdum. Always Fabricio Verdum. In the welterweight division, you're you're looking at Anthony Pettis or you're looking at George St. Pierre. But um I love the welterweight division because that's in my opinion, that's the division with the most variety. Um you see a lot of people, you know, picking a lot of different fighters. You see him picking Nick Diaz, picking Nick Diaz, you see them picking uh, a fighter like, uh, what was this guy's name? You see him picking Carlos Condit, see him picking Bruce Lee, but right there, body shots, finish Henan Burrell, get him out of there. Henan Burrell is done, finish with body shots, moving on to the next fight. I think the next fight is versus, of course, Ronda Rousey. Oh boy. Sometimes I wonder why on earth I play in the women's division. I, I gotta tell you, I, I <laughs> it's one of those divisions that I'm just like, they should just take the division out, put it in player matches, and just get it out of rank. It's, in my opinion, a useless division. Ronda Rousey has no competition. Kat Zingano is, uh, I'd say, a little bit of competition, but if a really, really, really good player was using Ronda Rousey, your chances of actually beating her using someone like uh, like I'm using right now very very slim because Rhonda she's just she's just light years above everyone else in her division in real life and in the game but uh right here I'm looking at the way that Rhonda Rousey is moving I'm seeing that she's sidestepping she's moving a lot so I figure you know what I'm just gonna have to finish this one with body shots gets me in the clinch try to judo toss me I defend that one I'm going for leg kicks and uh, like I said I figured I'm gonna have to finish Ronda Rousey with body shots because I, I just I wanted this this uh, season run to be over I was getting really 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 tired of striking I wanted to take the fight to the ground so 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 bad I wanted to grapple so bad because I love grappling I wanted to clinch her up and just dump her on her head get a mount and just knock her head off but I couldn't do it because like I said I wanted to do nothing but kickbox nothing but striking she tries to get me in the clinch i defend the first one she gets me the second one tries to go for a takedown i defend it she goes for another one boom she gets it try to escape the fence and i sweep her right there i sweep her i get up think about it try to get in guard she reverses ends up in guard and she starts doing the posture up posture up posture she goes posture again and the one thing about pa posturing up like that is when they posture up like that that uh it makes it impossible for you to do anything you can't transition you can't press l3 to kick them off you pretty much you pretty much stuck when they go up down up down up down like that it is a glitch that a lot of people use i wouldn't say it's a glitch i just say it's an exploit they exploit uh the flaw and uh a lot of people do that but uh
the round is about to be over and I'm like, you know what, whatever, I am trying to finish Ronda Rousey with body shots, I'm going body, 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 ripping the body, chasing her down, come here, where you going, where you going Ronda, you're not going anywhere. No, body, 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 ripping the body, ripping the body, body snatching, one, two, three, four, and Ronda Rousey is done. Hopefully I did not damage your liver, Ronda Rousey. But that is it for this season run, ladies and gentlemen. I am tired of talking. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope I didn't talk a little bit too much. And uh, like I said, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. This video was not easy to make. The commentary was not easy. Talking for so long like this, it gets a little bit tedious. But uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next one. Be safe, guys. Thank you for watching.